Hello, I'm going to show you how to add Kodi to your RetroPie install. It's very straightforward. I suggest you attach a keyboard as well to your Raspberry Pi. It makes things a lot easier. First, you need to go into this menu. You'll have RetroPie. You just press A on your controller. You need to go into RetroPie setup. From here you need to go to manage packages, just under the optional packages. I'm also going to show you how to add the repositories to make Kodi more useful to stream movies and TV shows to RetroPie. So you go down the list of optional packages to see Kodi. Press A on your controller and then go to install from binary. It'll do its thing. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection. It's very straightforward. And there we are, it's all done. You can use your controller to go back and you press A. And back again and press A. One more time. And to exit. Press B to back out of this menu. And you go to the port section. Retro Now, see, so you've got Kodi highlighted. Just press A and it'll take you to Kodi. Now we have Kodi installed on RetroPie. We need to get some add ons. You could add each repository one by one and each add on one by one, but we're going to use add on installer. This is how you do it. Firstly, to add a file manager. Add source. You write this in. So you can see you write the address in the bar there. HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv addons dot ag forward slash. And we need to give it a name. You can call it anything you like. Yeah, I've just called it dot fusion. And we go to OK. And then that's done. Escape out of this. And you go to settings. And you go to add ons. Let's go to the top of the bar structure. So you get to install from zip file. Click on there. Go to fusion. Click on that. Go to begin here. And you want to add to install. Now I'll go out into the internet and download what we need. Come back out. As you see in the corner it says add or install enabled. Now we go to programs, press enter, and we see add on installer. This is um one of the simpler ways to add the add-ons that you want rather than trailing around and looking for certain add-ons. Certain add-ons can be in certain parts of the repository and with this program it does it for us. So if you want video add-ons, Oops. 
sort of thing. You'll get to know which ones are worth dealing with and which ones aren't. We will back up out of this and go to go to featured add-ons. Exodus and uh, streamable sources, and that gives you all these shows in the movies. And then to install, we print. I've been pressing enter as I go. So all you really need to do is just highlight what you need. Press enter. You can use a mouse, you can use keyboard, you can even use your phone if you have um, Yahtzee installed. And probably the phone is actually the easiest. Or you can use if you have a, a PC remote and a wireless receiver, it picks it all up just fine. That's installed now. You can install as many as you'd like. Phoenix, Redbeard does um, streaming. Uh, streaming channels, streaming all the sources is very reliable. So you download as many as you like and they install. You X out of here and you say, well, I can't see where they are. They're in here. And there's your app. But if you want them on to the front page, Go to system and settings. Go to appearance. Into settings. And you are uh, now you'll deal with the home window. So you go to the shortcut section and you tell it that you want it to be on the front menu. I like that, and you can highlight the five to be on the front menu. Different genres for different things, so there's, pro there's a programs one, music, pictures, your home menu. So now that's there, when we escape, it'll be at the front. And you may move over and move the videos, and there it is. You just highlight that to use the app. And you've got movies, TV shows. So you go to TV shows. And you go most popular, highly rated. You go into the search function. You search by person. You go to highly rated. And you have them um, when they load up. With all the images for the TV show. Let's go to Planet Earth. And you pick your episode that you'd like to watch. And you get to pick who you want it to get from. Different apps have different ways of doing it. Some have a list like this. Some have no list and picks just the fastest or best one. Um, it's just, just, um, it just depends on the application. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, just let me know. Uh, and I'll try and help. I don't know if this has been clear enough. Bye.
please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Click the link below.